Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can make the traffic so bad that people would rather die in their house alone rather than go outside and attempt to fight it. It's City Skylines. We're back in Florida, where I am prepared to create the most ridiculous traffic ecosystem that has ever existed. I want to make driving such a depressing feeling that people would rather die alone in their houses than get on the roadway. Someone asked, they said, hey, great. Could you make an instance where the most amount of cars are on the roadway? Yes. However, there's an issue. City Skylines has restrictions on just how many cars you can have at any given time. Luckily, with mods, you can piss all over those restrictions and do whatever the hell you want. And that's what we're gonna do today. As the sterling example of genitalia that Florida is, I felt that this was the perfect place to do this in. Florida is also like the cheat code of the news world, I feel. I, it's like if you're a news reporter in Florida, you shouldn't even get paid because it's too easy. In other states, the news people are like, my God, what do we post today? That a new Starbucks opened? Over in Florida, it's like, do we post the one story about the guy who tried to choke a pastor out to death with Slim Jim wrappers? Or should we post the one about the guy who crashed his airboat made out of used Bud Light cans? Okay, so first things first, we need a nice area that we can use for where our city is gonna be. If there's one thing that Simba's dad taught us, it's that we have to build in the light of Florida. You don't ever wanna touch any place where the shadows are in this state. I've also got the traffic modded so high that I'm kind of curious if my GPU can handle it or if it will plan my death. I know one of these days I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night with my GPU standing over my bed with a knife in its hand. I know someone's like, but Gray, how can that happen? A GPU doesn't have hands. Down here in Florida, they do. Now, first things first, you need a place where people can live. Alrighty, there we go. That looks perfect. As a matter of fact, this is probably a good opportunity to, you know, update the name of Florida. Actually, I should probably save as well. All right, everyone with low income, you get to live on the end. Everyone in Godville gets to look down upon you. Listen, it's Florida. I didn't make these rules. If you want to work, you have to go over to the D. I can only imagine how this conversation goes. People be like, yeah, where do you work at? And guys like, oh, I work over in Dville. And they're like, oh, it's so strange. Me too. Ah, good. Many people are beginning to understand the power of the D already. Look at this. Many places are being erected inside of the D. There's a goddamn clown head on a on the top of a roof. This is exactly what I had in mind. All right, need a couple of hospitals in here. I want them to have the longest possible drive to help people though, so I'm gonna put them way over here. The beginning of the Sadlands has commenced. I appreciate that the second you step into God No, you're treated with completely unhealthy eating options. No one does any kind of cardio or anything here. Everyone just drives everywhere except for this person. Lady, I'm gonna have to kill you for making me wrong. I like how a dead person is waiting for transport over at the Valley Residence, but everyone is still completely happy about it. 21 people are uneducated. They're like, we never learned to fear death. All right, right? 2,400 vehicles. This 16,000 is bullshit. It's modded up to like 64,000 or something. Obviously, we need like 30 times more of this. Yes, my traffic. Rise, damn you. Rise. <laughs> I'm keeping the speed limits up for now because I want to get these vehicles in the city faster. Once they're inside and it's maxed out, though, I'll probably put the speed limit down to like six miles an hour or whatever so people want to immediately kill themselves. Remember how I said when you come into the city, all that you're faced with is bad nutritional choices? We got a burger shop next to 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 a donut store. I'm gonna change the name of this city to Morbid Obesity. I see Ty Lopez is in here parking his sports car on like a 40 degree incline, big brain style. Okay, real quick. I mean, there's only like one traffic light here. What the hell are you doing? You son of a bitch. You had 30 miles to get over into the other lane. <laughs> the traffic is just running over itself. Anyway, I was gonna say that we've got the traffic backed up across the entire state. <laughs> it literally goes all the way to the end. It doesn't even render eventually. Hold on, I need to make it so that the people in the God City can look down upon everyone else. Like, literally look down upon them. Let me see what I can find here. Here we go, just like... 
Grab this here. And then can I just elevate this? <laughs> there we go. That's right, my children. We don't need gravity where we're going. I appreciate that someone decided to build up here. What sort of satanic building came up? The King Residence, of course, that's the name. <laughs> Who else would live up high to, to look down upon the unwashed plebs other than the folks over at the King Residence? Oh, it's the sunny side residence. It makes perfect sense because the sun always shines over here and over here it's just a giant shadow. This area over here is just basically going to be like the trailer park of the God No Land. It's just so I can shove more people up in here. All right, we're still only at about 3,500 cars. I think the big bite's on fire or something, but uh, traffic is slowly but surely getting worse and more dangerous for children. I guess it was on fire. There's the fire truck. Oh, my, my bad. It was an ice cream shop. It figures that only the stuff with the highest carbohydrate content gets set on fire. Is that how we put out fires in City Skylines? I never actually looked. What does a dude just go inside and piss on the fire? Garbage is piled up. Yeah. Now you wish you didn't put your friggin' house on a 4,000 foot incline. Part of me is curious to know. Like, if you want to go into God Know, exactly how long it takes to navigate this traffic all the way down, because it is stop and go forever. Like, we made a place where it took people 12 years to get from one side of the, the state to the other, but this may be just as freaking bad. Look at how bad it is going from the God to the regular, like, low-income area. <laughs> There's sewage packing up everywhere. Oh, Christ. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. It's just ambulances and police stuck in traffic everywhere. I can only imagine what goes on on this cruise ship. It's like, if you look over to your right, you will notice the fecal-laden cesspool that is Florida. Enjoy and inhale the sh particles of other people's butt vomit as we float on by. Parking is getting so jacked up that people are just like parking inside of alleyways and stuff. Well, this is satisfying. Now there's tremendously backed up traffic on both sides of the state. Good, good. Meanwhile, everything's on fire, Jesus Christ. There's no way to put these fires out because the fire department can't get anywhere in the traffic. Whatever chaos is my mistress burn, baby. This is why I have helicopters doing the work. If you live on the main throughway over here, you may- <laughs> Guys just got hit by a freaking car and it's bicycle. Jesus Christ, they're running over everyone over here. The traffic is absolutely ballistic. The power of Satan compels my city at this point. It is just lines of ambulance. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I mean, I shouldn't even ask how I killed this many people all at once. But literally all it is, is just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ambulances all backed up as they try and get down the intersections of death from one part of the city to the other. There is a lot of dead people waiting for transport. The only problem is they're never going to get transported because the traffic is never gonna move. So the friggin' ambulances are never gonna get there. <laughs> I've got the speed limit inside of this city at 140 kilometers per hour to try and get as many vehicles on the roads as possible. And this is how fast everyone is currently <laughs> moving. I can't have the wait for traffic like too long otherwise vehicles start despawning so i'm putting more and more roads into the city to try and funnel as many people in here as i possibly can there's so many cars coming i'm funneling more and more and more people into the city as quickly as i can but the traffic is just flowing so quickly into the into this map that it never ends so there's a ton of trash piling up so I've created a whole friggin' slew of recycling places. Not like the recycling trucks can actually get anywhere though because there's just miles and miles of them stacked up on top of one another because of how poorly the traffic is moving. Look at how far this thing goes. <laughs> okay, I've got it on like maximum forward speed now. The traffic just doesn't move at this point. Everyone just stays here. All the time. Forever. Hey. 
real quick, how's that, uh, how's that ambulance transport going? The dude inside is like, kill me. All right, I've opened up a couple more streets over here to try and get things moving along. It is complete and total chaos. There's no, there's, I don't, there's no reason to even have stop signs or really anything here because people do whatever they, look at this, people are driving on the freaking sidewalk. <laughs> Cars are just driving on the grass. People are getting crushed every two seconds by vehicles. It's freaking glorious. People want way more D in their life. So I'm putting extra uh, like pathways over here to get to the D. Okay, I'm going through and making it so that everyone can drive as bad as they want. Just so that we can get more and more vehicles on the roadways. See this? All this. I don't care what it is. Anarchy. Guide my sadness. One of my favorite ways to enhance traffic in my city is by adding a couple of uh, sheer roadways like this here. There we go. People will always enjoy driving on these roadways and they impact the uh, surrounding area as little as possible. Oh, I've never had a road do a full 180 twist before. I'm pretty happy about this. I wasn't sure if the traffic could get any worse. Then I told myself to hold my beer. I appreciate that there's like a thousand people refusing to acknowledge that gravity exists at any given time. 140. Everything's at 140. I don't care what it is. Residential, school zones, 140. At this point, in an attempt to shove as many cars on here as possible, I'm just connecting everything. I don't even care where it goes. So in some places, it doesn't even make any sense. Physics has lost all meaning at this point. It really doesn't matter. Up is down, left is right, gravity doesn't work all the time, and cars are doing flips and sh** to get to their intended locations. We're all set. 12 FPS. Because honestly, why not at this point? Alright, that's it. I've just decided to go completely insane. I'm connecting all this. I don't even care anymore. You can't even call this traffic anymore. Because it's just roads stacked on top of roads, stacked on top of roads, so that I can keep the traffic moving. All the vehicles are just phasing in and out of other roads at this point. This is legitimately the most difficult shit I've ever done. Because getting this many cars on the map is a pain in the ass. I can't get above 12 FPS at this point. This is the spaghetti of roads that I have to use in order to try and shove as many vehicles on the map as humanly possible. There's so many roads, I don't even know what I'm connecting anymore. <laughs> okay. We're up to 46,000 vehicles. The game is completely unplayable at this point. I'm getting like, <laughs> like no FPS. It's six FPS trying to play it. Traffic is just stopped everywhere. There are cars, ambulances, police. Everything is just completely gridlocked from one side of the city to the other. Roads don't make any sense. The traffic doesn't make any sense. And there are dead bodies waiting to be picked up damn near everywhere. Would I ever do this again? No. This was the worst pain in the ass I've ever undertaken in City Skylines. Now I understand why there was a, whatever, a 16,000 car limit. Because any more than that, you want to freaking shoot yourself. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.